Struggling readers often freeze when they see a large multi-syllable word. They see reading as a puzzle that is too difficult to solve. Teaching decoding is teaching them how to solve the puzzle. Second grade text is full of multi-syllable words. They are everywhere. Here's a simple routine to teach your students to help them decode multi-syllable words. When a student comes across a multi-syllable word in text, we don't have to be met with a question mark. We can break it down into a six-step routine to help students read multi-syllable words. The first thing we do when we get to a multi-syllable word is to look for prefixes. In this word, there are no prefixes, so we go on to the next step. The second step is to look for suffixes. In this word, there is a suffix, ing. The third step is to look for spelling patterns you know. This can include phonics patterns and the six syllables. In this word, the first syllable is an open syllable, so we know it has a long vowel. Step four is to sound out each part and blend the word together. Go, ing, going. Step five is to say the word fast, going. Step six is to read the word in the sentence and ask, does this make sense? Does the word sound right? Is it a word I have heard before? And does it make sense in the sentence? Let's go through the routine one more time with this word. Look for prefixes. Look for suffixes. Look for spelling patterns you know and the six syllable types. The first part of the word has a closed syllable. The second part of the word has an R controlled syllable. Next, sound out each part and blend the word together. Next, say the word fast. Last, read the word in the sentence. Let's go over it one more time with this word. Look for prefixes, look for suffixes, Look for spelling patterns you know, and think about the six syllable types. In this word, we have a vowel team syllable. The O-A makes the long O sound. Now sound out each part and blend the word together. Then say the word fast. And last, read the word in the sentence. So what about words that do not have prefixes, do not have suffixes? How do we know where to divide the syllables? Here are a few principles to help. Number one, with compound words, such as snowman, we divide between the two smaller words. Snow, man, snowman. Prefixes and suffixes are always separate syllables. In this word, there is a suffix. This is a separate syllable. Play, ing, playing. If there is a double consonant between two vowels, we divide between the two. For example, this word, there are two consonants together between two vowels, so we can divide right between the two consonants. When, do window. If there is only one consonant between two vowels, we divide after the first vowel. Co, co, coco. We usually keep blends and digraphs together in words. So in this word, there is a digraph. We will keep this together and not split between the two consonants. Dish, as, dishes. And last, the consonant plus LE is a separate syllable. Pud, dull, puddle. puddle.